Welcome to Hot Rod City. Uh, for my residents, nice to see you again. If you're not a resident, you're just a guest, just go down there and click the subscribe, and you can be a resident. So, I have a seat, and then a bench seat that goes in like an F800 or something like that. It's a Ford-bodied dump truck with a flip front end on it. Uh, I've had it for probably about a month now, so I need to get to it. Uh, I'm waiting on material for a bunch of other jobs, uh, so... I'm gonna knock this out to get it done because it looks like first of next week I got a really big job that we're gonna get to and fix some of this canvas and stuff uh, over the weekend. So the driver's side is air ride. I took all the air ride off of it already, and this is like a cheapest of cheap as air seats, air ride seats come. Well, maybe not. Maybe not cheap as the cheap because it's got an armrest on it. Which I don't know. But it's got plywood on the bottom of this. So I am going to make this dusty seat. look pretty again. Here's this seat. This is the front. So, uh, this will be the front of the seat. So, it'll have uh, black orange inserts and black piping. I know this is some Halloween kind of stuff, but, excuse me, it's not my truck, so I don't really care. Alright, meow. Here's a seat for uh, F800, F900, or whatever dump truck. Uh, redid upholstered seat. I also repainted, uh, scuffed, and painted the frame just because it was funky looking. I probably should have made the effort and cleaned up all the air ride stuff, but that thing's heavy. The air ride's not even hooked up. It's supposed to be hooked up to the switch. So, but this is like an ancient kind of freaking setup here, and it's in this truck. So, I think it had a different seat in it, and then they put the air ride in it. So, uh, I still need to hit it with some steam, but I'm going to wait to break that out until this the passenger seat's done. So, this is a, I think it's a 60-40 seat, so this is the 60. I'm going to do it in the same manner that I did this seat, <clears throat> and it has a cup holder right here in the center. Uh, I got a box of these cup holders somewhere, but I don't think mine are this big. So, we'll start taking this apart and I'll catch you guys after that. Alright, last week for me it was like a scrub, so I didn't get to get back to finish this passenger seat of this dump truck. But, here it is. It's done. Uh, it's weird and all set like that, because there was a cup holder that went here. But, if you look underneath... Well, I forgot I covered it. Um, it was very nasty. Because... Ah. Whoever decided to do it, but this is the cup holder they used. This was not OG original for from the Ford dealer. Uh, you can see it's broken anyway, so I would have had to replace it. And I was like, no. Nope. And then this, it's got holes in it. So anything that leaks through goes right into the seat, and it was really nasty. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not putting it back in. So, and then it had a, a like a hole right here for the passenger seatbelt to come through. I don't really anything actually is ever anybody ever is gonna sit in the middle. So having said that, now looking at it, what I wish I'd have done is just take the orange all the way and not had this panel here. So is what it is. The seat's done. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the van and then I have to do the headliner. 
but I gotta get cracking on my next job. I have a an entire uh pontoon boat to do this week. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna do my darndest, so putting this in the van. So uh once I get it in, I'll take some pictures. I already took a picture of this, took a picture of the driver's seat, so uh once I get them in, I'll take pictures and put them right about here. So, thanks for sticking along. Uh, I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out. Uh, I'm my brain is rather fried from and fricasseed from having to do. I've already left my job at the power plant, so uh, I'm doing upholstery full time. So with my fears of failing at this, uh, everything else is pretty much gone to the wayside. And this is just I'm going hog nuts into this. I get up early in the morning, come out here, and I don't go back in the house till late at night. I need to start cutting back on it because it's it's taking its toll on my body already. So go down there, click subscribe, give me a like, leave a comment. Uh, catch you later.